Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22543. So basically when Microsoft releases the C release on the last Tuesday of the month, we will have the dev build on Thursday. So that's what happened today. In this video, we're gonna talk about, of course, as you're used to, about the latest changes and improvements, about some fixes, and of course, what you can find new all around in this new Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel. Before starting the video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel. Regarding that, I want to thank you all for 20k subscribers. It's an insane milestone and I think that all of you who watch and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel are part of this community and I appreciate all of you. So let's get on with the video. First of all, in this build, we have more natural narrator voices. I'm not sure who uses narrator, but Microsoft decided to update this as well. So we will have more natural voices called Jenny and Arya. So if you want to install these new voices, just type in narrator in your search box and then click on install. Now you will be redirected to settings and also open up the narrator. And if you go into the add natural voices and click on add in that section, you will have the new voices, Arya and Johnny and you can click on install to install them. More info about this you'll have in the article down below with also with some new keyboard shortcuts that you can use with the narrator and so on. So make sure to check out the article if you're interested to find out more info about the new updates that were applied to the narrator app. In this build, we have some interesting UI changes. So for example, Microsoft updated the media controls that appear on the Windows 11 lock screen when we are playing music in a supported app. So that is really, really cool in my opinion. It is basically similar to the media controls that you can find in quick access and they will always use the dark theme to complement the rest of the lock screen visual style which is kind of interesting but the bad news is that Microsoft is beginning to roll this out only to some insiders so not all of us will have it that's the bad news but don't worry if you don't have it yet either wait or if I manage to find or some reddit users find some ways to enable this I'm gonna let you know in a upcoming video these days now another interesting UI change is that Microsoft updated the experience of resizing app windows in snap layouts by overlaying the relevant app icon on top of the acrylic background. So let me show you how this looks. We're going to use this. As you can see, we have a new experience. This looks actually really, really good. We now have uh, this new experience, which actually looks pretty nice. We have these new acrylic backgrounds and uh, looks really, really good in my opinion. I think it's going to be a bit better for our productivity and it also looks uh, way better in my opinion. I have to test this out a bit more to um, know exactly how this can be used better or if this is better than the previous way that we use to resize windows using the snap assist. But at a first glance, it looks really, really good. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. And of course, if you also use the layouts, you can do something like that. It will bring up this menu. I think, yeah, I think it's a really, really nice design and uh, shout out to Microsoft for doing this. If you're using Microsoft Teams for calls or conferences, using the Windows plus Alt plus K keyboard combination to mute your call will now show a confirmation flyout. In my case, it is unavailable because now I'm not using the Microsoft Teams app, but you will see a screenshot as an example. The input switcher improvements announced with build 22518, including the updated design with an acrylic background, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel, so that is good news. Another change is that when doing a full build upgrade, the process ring animation has been updated aligning with the updated boot screen animation. So when you're doing a build upgrade, you will see that new boot animation also. That is really nice, pretty simple design change. We also have some changes in settings and then storage. And you'll see here some design changes. They updated the design in order for this to align with the overall design of settings in Windows 11. Certain options for the drive volume and space like properties are now directly available in line on these pages as buttons without having to click that entry first. So you can see that here in the disks and volume volume section, you have the properties button, which you can click on and you'll see more information about that certain disk or drive. And also in storage spaces, we have a slightly new design, but for this, I have to create a storage pool and storage space, but I'm not doing that right now. These are basically all the changes and improvements from this build. But now let's talk about some fixes and also some slight changes that are pretty interesting in my opinion. First of all, the task manager should no longer crash when we click on the performance tab. That was a pretty interesting bug that we had on the previous 
belt. Also another requested thing is for the volume indicators, brightness indicators to have a level. So we now have a value to that. That is really, really nice that Microsoft included that. Regarding the brightness, we don't have one, but I don't think that is really necessary. But for the volume indicators, we have it and that is nice and looks really nice. Regarding File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue that could lead to explorer.exe crashing when dragging and dropping a file out of a zipped folder in File Explorer. And also the context menu in File Explorer now shows a Control plus Shift plus C keyboard shortcut next to copy as path. So we would know what keyboard combination to use in case we wanted to copy as path a certain file. Regarding input, Microsoft fixed an issue which was leading to the cursor unexpectedly disappear in certain apps. They also fixed a crash in quick settings when opening the input switcher from there. Regarding the taskbar, they fixed the weird bug that we had on the taskbar that led us to think that we will soon have the small taskbar back in Windows 11, but now we no longer have two arrows and uh, everything is lined up correctly again. Regarding settings, if you've opted to turn off the startup sound, that setting should persist upgrades going forward. Regarding windowing, they fixed a slight issue that was causing the accent color to always be blue. Now it will follow your chosen accent color, which is really nice. Also, if you want to know more about the known issues in this build, you can check out the article down below in the description for useful links. This is basically the newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, the build 22,000.543. I think this is a really nice update, a really nice new build for Microsoft. And of course, I wait your comments down below with opinions and experiences that you've had with Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech-based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.